Hello, members of the 26th District. My name is Nathan Schlicker, your state senator. It's a real privilege to talk to you today about some of the things we're working on down here. Last week, you may recall, we talked about transportation. This week, I want to talk a little bit about government efficiency and what we can do to make government more responsive to you. I've got two bills that are going to be heard in government operations this week. First one uh, is a real simple bill. It just says that local governments have the opportunity to decide if they want to have hearings that would benefit their people about issues they care about in areas other than their county seat. The reality is we've got big counties in Kitsap and Pierce County that have people spread across large distances. And one of the challenges that people face is that they may live up in Bainbridge and have to travel to Port Orchard or live out on the Key Pen and have to travel in uh, to the seat of Pierce County. What this bill allows them to do is to instead say, you know, sometimes issues could benefit from being in another part of the county, and let's have a meeting there. And that's all it does. And the Kitsap County Commissioners came up with this idea, and I thought it was a brilliant plan. Because let's get people involved in government, and let's have people have the opportunity to testify and share their passions with the county commissioners and with the local governments. And this lets them do that. The second bill that I want to tell you about is one that works to make sure that we're funding our park system. As you know, in tough budget times, everybody's getting squeezed down, and the parks are getting really squeezed out of uh, their current funding sources. And sometimes that was against the will of the people who voted to create these parks districts that wanted to be able to have good places for their kids and their families to go play. And so what this bill allows them to do is to go back to the people and say, in all the challenges and all the funding pressures that are out there from the schools, to the local governments, the EMS, and to everything else, did you really want to squeeze us out of the budget or do you still want to keep us around? And if the people vote for it, then they get to keep their parks districts that might otherwise go away. Simple little bill that does the right thing that lets people keep deciding how they want their government to run. Well, thank you so much for joining me today. I look forward to seeing you down here in Olympia if you're coming to testify or just visit with us or back in district at one of our weekly events on Fridays. This week we're in Bremerton, we're in Port Orchard and uh, Gig Harbor the prior weeks, and we look forward to making it out to the Key Peninsula the next week. So we're really excited to be out in the district. Hope you'll join us. Hope you'll get involved and share your thoughts and opinions on what we're doing down here and look forward to meeting with you. Thanks so much.